Hey guys, this is Octavian from itouchapps.net and today I'm going to be reviewing an application called OmniFocus 2, which is created by Omni Group, costs one uh, excuse me, costs uh, 19.99 and is available on the iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. So, um, before I get started, I just want to say a quick note uh, about this application. Uh, obviously, it's a productivity app for, you know, task lists. However, if you just want an app where you pile on lists with due dates, um, then this app isn't worth it for you because uh, this app does so much more. And uh, you know, if you want to take your productivity to the next level, uh, then this app is going to do that. Uh, so it's not just twenty dollars for no reason. It's you'll see uh, just how useful it is. So uh, with that in mind, let's get started. Um, Basically, of course, this app lets you create tasks, but what's really interesting about it is that it lets you group them into projects. So here I've created some uh, project folders uh, using the add folder or add project icon right here. So I created two different folders for projects. One is for school and one is for work. So if I go over to work, for example, I can see one of my projects and this project is called writing and within writing I have two tasks and the first task is to write some articles and the second one is to do an app review so right here you can see how how great this app is for organizing because right off the bat uh, we have all of this organization and we're not looking at you know an endless list of 20 different tasks I need to get done uh, if I wanna if I'm at, for example let's say I'm at school I can look, okay, what do I need to do for school? Uh, if I'm working, uh, you know, I can go to work, see my work projects, and then look uh, at what each project uh, needs to get done. And of course, each project has uh, individual tasks. So like, let's say if you wanna uh, plan for a wedding, you'd have a wedding planning project. And then for, those, uh, for that wedding planning project, you would have uh, individual tasks, like uh, find, DJ right and you'd say okay so uh, before I have my wedding I have to find a DJ and I have to find a cake baker right so already uh, we can see that our project ha uh, you know like it needs certain tasks to be completed and the cool thing about projects is that they can run um, in different types of ways they can be sequential projects um, this means that you have to finish the first task before you can do the next one. Um, a sequential project, like to give you an example, would be if you're setting up a website and um, you know you, you need to buy the domain before you can set up the website. So you'd have to get task one finished before the second and so forth. The second type of project is called parallel. Uh, it lets you complete tasks in any order you want. And the third type of uh, project is called uh, single actions, which is projects that only have um, single tasks in them. And of course, projects can be marked as completed, on hold, dropped or canceled, or uh, active. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, let me back out of here to show you what else this app has. Um, you know, like it's not done there because obviously that's cool, but that's not enough to make this app $20. Now, the other feature that it has is called context and context it basically allows you to um, give each individual task a context in which it needs to be done so um, I could tell OmniFocus uh, the location of my office uh, you know through GPS and when I get to my office for example uh, my office which is a uh, non-existent uh, an imaginary office if you will so when I'd get to my uh, office, um, and if I had any tasks that needed to be done there, like uh, remind some coworkers about a project, uh, this app would remind me to tell them. So it wouldn't remind me when I'm home, because obviously I can't tell them in person. It would only remind me when I'm at work. And then uh, for my home context, I could uh, have another uh, task. So l let me show you what I mean. Let's say I have um, an essay that I need to write, and I need to write it at home. So I would go to uh, my uh, essay task, and then I would say context home, 
Okay, nice. So now if I go to my context, I can see that um, I need to do something at home. I can see this uh, little, uh, what do you call it, gray icon. It's a bit blurry. So the dark gray icon tells me something needs to be done there. And uh, now that I go to home, uh, you know, I have a task that needs to be completed there. I need to write my essay. And the way context works, again, is you wouldn't actually look through them manually. Uh, this would just be a way for the app to remind you what to do depending on where you are. So like if you're at the store, it tells you to pick something up. If you're at Starbucks, it tells you to, uh, you know, uh, make, a, make a list of how much money you spent there. Whatever you want to be reminded, wherever you go, you would put it into context. Um, now, the other thing this app has, uh, which makes it really useful, is uh, you can have a forecast uh, section here. And forecast basically tells you uh, what, what was due uh, maybe yesterday, what's due today, Sunday, Wednesday, and in the future. And I believe you can change forecast to show you, um, yeah, you can change it to show you a month view. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can do it somehow. I'm not sure how to do it right now, but at any rate, you can always look in the future and that would show you things. Um, I didn't, you know, from forecast, you can complete tasks and uh, so forth. Now, the last thing I want to show you about tasks is that uh, in addition to being able to put them under project and under context that they need to be completed in, um, you can also flag the important ones. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so you can also flag the important ones. Um, you can uh, kind of like delay starting them until a specific date. You can give them a due date. Uh, you can make them repeat. So like buy milk, you could have a repeating reminder uh, every maybe every week, depending on how much uh, cereal you consume. Uh, you can move your task to a, a different project. You could convert your tasks into a project, so like find DJ, we can make an entire project of finding a DJ. We can add a task, Google DJs, uh, another task, ask friends about DJs, another task, interview three separate DJs. You know what? I, so you can turn one single task, you can turn it into a project um, right here. So convert to top level project and bam. Now I have an entire project uh, with multiple uh, tasks that need to be done. Nope, not DNS. Find DJs on Google. Uh, interview three DJs. You know, and so forth. So now this entire project uh, needs multiple tasks to be completed. And of course, we could mark it as completed after every everything is uh, done in it. And the other thing I wanted to show you uh, about tasks was that you could also uh, make notes under the specific task and you could add um, either a voice memo or a photo to your tasks. And uh, you know you can share your task and of course you could also delete your task if that's something you'd like to do. So in conclusion, uh, this app has a, a beautiful interface and functionality that is well beyond its time. Other than the very expensive price, uh, nothing is bad about it and it has no glitches or shortcomings. The only downside is there is no PC version of the OmniFocus program. Uh, so you can sync tasks and projects between the Mac app and the iOS app, but if you have a PC, you're out of luck. Now to tell you if this app is uh, worth it or not, I would only tell you this. If you think it's expensive and um, it's not going to make you more productive, then chances are you it's actually not going to make you more productive and um, you're not at the level where you need to spend so much money uh, on such an app. So you'd be better off with a free alternative such as Wonderlist, um, which, which is pretty useful and it, uh, it syncs tasks between your computer, your PC, Mac, iPhone, Blackberry, and so forth. Now, if you do think this app um, is going to make you more productive and you're not too turned off by the $20 price and you can justify buying it, um, then it probably will end up making you more productive and it, it will be worth it for you.
so in retrospect it's not an app for like remember to get the milk no it's it's more important than that if uh, maybe you have a business or um, you know you're taking care of multiple things at a time multiple projects in different categories maybe your family you have to plan trips uh, and then you've got work and then you've got school and then you've got like a research paper um, you know obviously it would be really hectic to just use a, a normal task list uh, program and that's where this app comes in um, that's about it for this app review thanks for watching and have a great day